Today is a very exciting day because it is day one of us turning our bow into a new room. So at the moment our bow is basically used just for storage and yeah we get jealous when all these other boats come past and they can sit out on the bow and relax and have a drink. So I'm going to show you now what the bow currently looks like. So through the magical mystical macrame curtains is just basically storage. We've got wood and a bike and a chimney, sawdust, a bin, the hose, plasticky things, toolboxes. Now I don't actually know where we're going to put all this stuff but <laughs> we're going to find a way because we really want to turn this into a nice room. So let's begin. Hello I'm Adam. I'm Lauren. And this is Shanti. We all live together on board our 59 foot narrowboat. Join us as we show you what our day-to-day -day life is like living on the British waterways. How many hula hoops have you got stored in there? Uh, about Where are we going to keep them? I'm not really sure yet. So we've cleared the space. Yes. It's looking bigger already, I think. A lot of spiders uh, living here, so a lot of cobwebs cleaning. What's um, the next step? Well, we might keep this, but we might update it. But regardless, we need to paint it and to get round all the looks and kind of it's best to take it off. So we're going to give it a clean um, and take it off with a spanner. It's like there's a nut and bolt under here, so yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So we're trying to unscrew these bolts, but every time we unscrew the bolt, the bits on top here start moving with it. So we're struggling to keep them in place. So the next plan is to actually just try and use this, I can't remember the name of it, just zoop, get rid of the bolts like that, because we want to get started. So Lauren went in to find some protective glasses <laughs> to use the tool, but couldn't find any. So what are we sporting? These. <laughs> These are my night glasses, my nightwear. Don't want to get them ruined or anything, but um, got to see what you guys are doing, yeah? Very funky. So our boat neighbours have very kindly lent us this generator which we're going to use to power the scabler. Now I'm going to be in charge of the scabling which is basically this tool so it's going to be a really easy way to get all the rusty floor off. Shanti, we asked you, you to stay inside young man. So traditional sanding methods won't have been effective enough and taken a really long time so this will apparently just take 10 minutes. Apparently quite a scary tool but I've been given really good detailed instructions on how to use it. I'm feeling pretty excited about it actually. So ready for it? We're getting there. That scabbler is, I think I've got the knack of it now. Like me and her, we've kind of built a relationship. I know how she works. She knows how I work. <laughs> and, um, and you've got your goggles on. And got my goggles on. Your eyes. So my work was finished with the scabbler and because it can't get to the corners, Lauren is now, what are you doing? No, I was doing this. Uh huh vibrates so much that I can't do it anymore so you're gonna have to do it because my knuckles are killing me. So where are we at now? I mean so now, she's now looking I'm great. Sanding. 
sanding sanding at the sides because we're not taking that back to bare metal so we're just keying it so that we can put a primer on it and that it would stick so it's really important to make sure that we get all of the like shiny stuff off like all the gloss i got two things to say it's a great sander look at your nose number one oh my God. <laughs> number two who knew the ramen rose used to be blue The batteries run out, and that means it's time to stop for the day. No. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know how to remove these batteries. We've taken the cratch off, but I mean, she's looking really good. Successful first day, I think. Lauren doesn't want to stop. Good morning, good morning. I have a pineapple on my head. <laughs> and that means it's ready for business. We are going to be hand sanding today. Woohoo! We've got the sandpaper, really coarse cool stuff, um, and that's to get into the places that the electric sander couldn't get to yesterday. So behind me, you can see oh my god, it's so huge in there! Um, all the bottom has been stripped back to bare metal, and the sides that we've sanded just to um, key them, just so that the paint that we put on will have something to stick to. This is definitely the most boring job. Tedious. Tedious is the word that springs to mind. I like using an electric sander, but I don't like doing this. My back hurts as well. That's yours. Not too bad. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what was here because I don't know if you can see there's like welding lines and box shapes on both sides so there used to be something here and <laughs> whatever it was it's a lot rustier in these sections and I just tried to take the rust off here and look I've literally just put a hole in the boat um yeah so that's really weak there um, it's not problematic or anything um, because it just goes onto the inside of the boat. Well, it kind of is actually because if water gets in here, it runs down to this point and leaves that hole. So obviously water can get in there. So I'm going to have to fill that up with something. So while Lauren continues to work on the bow, I am going to go and make some lunch. Okay, it's lunchtime. Welcome to my kitchen. Today's the perfect day for the delivery we've just had because there's stuff everywhere, I've got no food in. So look what's just arrived. Oh my God, it's huge. Ta-da, hello fresh. We've got this a few times actually, like I love cooking, but weeks like this week when we knew we were gonna be painting and the kitchen's a mess, there's paint everywhere, it was just so much more convenient to get it. So let's see what's in the box. We've got three dishes this week. We've got sticky glazed halloumi sivlaki. We've got a goat's cheese and caramelized onion. Naniza, Naniza, it's like a naan pizza, Naniza, and a honey miso cauliflower poke bowl. It's gonna have to be that one realistically. That looks healthy, craving some health. All right, let's make this, number 21. Okay, these must be for the Nanizas. Don't need them. What number was it? 21. 21. Yeah, I think the reason why I like using HelloFresh sometimes is like, for example, this poke bowl. I make poke bowls all the time, but I feel like when you make it from here, it kind of tastes different to how you'd make it. Cause obviously you get all the spices and you get all of the kind of herbs and different sauces they use and pastes. So it's like I'm making a dish that I would make anyway, but it kind of just tastes better or different. So obviously I only know the way that I use my spices. It's given me loads of ideas as well. I'm liking the look of this because it looks like there's a lot of different pastes and herbs. So let's get cooking. Cauliflower is in the oven, time to make my cucumber salad. And I was just reading the step-by-step -step and it says to cut this in half and then smack it a few times with a rolling pin until it splits. Never done that before, not sure why. 
kind of excited to do it. <laughs> Said to whack it until it splits. So I think that's done. I wonder if it's just so it creates all nice different textures. I guess we'll find out in the next steps. How's it going, babe? Yeah, no, it's going pretty well, to be fair. I love miso, I'm making a miso paste. Uh, which is great because I often buy a jar of miso, use it for one recipe and then it goes off. So I like that I've got the right amount. I'm getting pretty excited actually. Is it ready? It is indeed. <gasps> oh my gosh. Just putting on the final touches of the sesame seeds, a bit of sriracha mayo. <sighs> Et voila! Honey miso cauliflower poke bowl. And how easy was that to cook? Pretty easy, probably yeah. like 20 minutes. What I'm more like is I make poke bowls, but I wouldn't have thought to put all these different pastes and stuff in. So it's like, I don't know how it's going to taste yet, but it smells good. It's going to be makes like me a, excited. a new flavour in your mouth. Do you want this on it or do you want it next to it? I want you to do whatever you want with it. Bit of drizzle here nor there. I'll tell you what, I'll bring this out and we can put that on ourselves. Taste test. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Go on, you do the taste I test first. All of it together. It's the rice that excites me. Mm -mm. If you'd like to give HelloFresh a try, then you can get 60% off your first box. And you can get 25% off for the next two months using our code FLOATING60 or the little QR code that we're going to put at the top somewhere. Right, should we carry on renovating that bow? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> So the hole that we discovered was a bit worse um, than we thought. So to begin with, we thought maybe we could just fill the hole in with a bit of filler. But after speaking to a few people, um, they thought it was best to get it welded. So luckily, we've got our local welders um, just nearby. So we just went and spoke to them and luckily they were free. So they've come to have a look at it and fix it essentially. So. They're taking all of that, the, all the rusty areas, so not even just the hole, but all the, that along that strip, it was really rusty. So they're cutting all of that out and then welding a new bit of metal in there. So it's been a very long day of sanding, lots of it, and I still feel like it's not done. <laughs> And I um, want to go to the pub. And Adam wants to go to the pub, but I want to push on because it's just going to take too long to do this if we don't, if we keep stopping. We made the compromise that Lauren would put the first coat of primer on and then we could go to the pub. We let it dry, we did a second coat, and then it was time to sand it down. <laughs> so we have swept, we've added some rust converter and swept the bow. And now it's time to add the primer to everywhere, the walls, the floor, everywhere, white primer using this T-Mac paint. Um, yeah. Things are moving, feels good. Lauren's just opening up the primer in a very noisy spot as they're still sandblasting a boat over there. Look at that sound. <laughs> sound reminds me of something, but I can't think what. Do, 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 do. Like something's about to like, important's gonna happen. <laughs> That side's looking a bit neat. Yep, that side is done. The second coat of primer is on. It looks so big in there. And Lauren doing it without me means a lot less strokes, brush strokes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So excited. 
time to clean the brushes. And why is it so important to clean our brushes, Lauren? <laughs> um, well, because if you didn't clean them, then they would dry with paint on them. And then you'd have to throw the brush away and you won't be able to reuse it. Who would make a mistake like that? Hmm. <laughs> the time has come for the top coat. We have chosen this buttermilk colour. Some may think that's crazy, because everyone's like, why would you paint the bow in such a light colour? Because it's not very practical and gonna get dirty. But we wanted it to have kind of like a conservatory light feel. And I kind of pioneered this idea, so if it does all go wrong, it's kind of me to blame, but I'm up for the, uh, I'm up for the scrutiny. <laughs> I feel like you think it's a bit of a better idea now, Loz, do you? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Apart from all of the priming that we've had to do. Yeah, it's been it's been a journey, isn't it? <laughs> but let's have a look at the colour. Yeah, so if we painted it the same colour, so the green, then we would not have needed to prime it. We would have just sanded it and then put the top gloss on. So it would have been a lot less work, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it wouldn't have looked like a going lounge. No. <laughs> See, I'm pretty happy with the colour. Lauren says in the camera it looks. What does it look in the camera? It looks more yellow in the camera. No, um, here it looks very... It's, it's basically more, an off-white. Yeah, it's more like beige in that. It's more. It's got more of a browner tone in, in real life. But in this camera, it looks very yellow. Well, it doesn't look yellow here, guys, so don't worry. Because that was one of our concerns. Because <laughs> Lauren was first looking through the camera, she's just been like, what? And then when you look through your it's eyes, like, oh my God. I think you prefer it. No, I do like it in real life which is good, isn't so you it? you all have to come to the boat. Let's <laughs> see what it looks like. <laughs> How's it going, my love? I just realised that my concentration face is more like this. <laughs> well, that will <worked. laughs> Just saying to Lauren how satisfying this is to watch, hinting that I would like a go. <laughs> what did you say? No. Stop. What is um, that? You're not allowed to do the A-frame. <laughs> Why? You can do the bits that are just bits. This is meant to be a democracy, not a dictatorship. <laughs> because it's hot and we gotta act quick and I know what you're like. What am I like? You're just like dunno. You will either just slap it on. Yeah. Or you would take forever doing one bit and then make brush strokes and on the bits that are dry. You'd probably be like, oh that's nice. And then go like that. And then ruin it. She said I'm allowed to go on the bit that no one sees. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't. What? But you can go on these bits, the long bits where it's just brushing brushing up. Any time, sweetie. Time to save the spider. He's trying so hard. <laughs> Maybe try and put him on the um, the paper. Go ahead. Oh. You're a good guy, aren't you? The sides are done. It's time to tackle the floor. We were debating if it was too hot to do it, but we're gonna go for it. Choose your weapon. You ready for this? Yes. She's nearly at the last part. She's got to even climb out the room now. Looks so yellow in the camera, it's so bizarre. I promise you guys, it's a lot softer than the colour it seems. 
final touches. The final strokes. Da -da -da -da. Thank you for watching our video. The next step once it's dry is for us to build some seating and turn it into more of a room. So stay tuned for that video. Please like and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below because we love hearing from you.